Hello, Marcus. Are you ready to cooperate today? Now, Marcus, I need the login and password to your pirate party email. Marcus, Marcus, come on. Wake up. We can get coffee before school. Okay, okay. Give me five minutes and I'll be ready to go. I had that dream last night again, Angie. The one about your interrogation with the severe haircut lady? Yeah, that one. It's so weird because the dream seems so real. Those types of dreams are the scariest. I'm sorry. It'll go away eventually. It wasn't so scary this time. I didn't feel shaken up, but instead, I woke up and I've been thinking about the sphere haircut woman. What do you mean? I don't know. It's hard to describe. But I remember looking into her eyes, and for once not seeing someone who was evil and mean. But her eyes were sad, as if she was troubled and lonely, not mean. What do you think her deal is, then? People just don't torture kids like that. Not normal, happy people, at least. I feel like she's lonely and upset, and took it all out on me and other people she tortured. After everything she did to you, you're justifying her behavior? I don't know, Angie. I really saw something. I feel like we can help her. Alright, so what do you want to do? I think she needs a boyfriend. She's lonely. So how does that involve me? I want you to give her a makeover. Excuse me? You want me to do what? I don't know. You're a girl. You know about makeup and clothes and stuff. Why? I really think that if you helped her feel better about herself, helped her get rid of that scary haircut, she could go out and find a boyfriend. Someone she could talk to, someone who would care about her. I think we should help her. Protect all the kids like me out there in the future. Okay, fine. I'll figure out her address. Let's go to her house after school and put this in motion. I'm willing to give it a try. Since when do only mean people need love? Yeah, mean people suck, and a significant other could help balance them out. But what about people like me? I've been thinking about love too lately. But whatever, I'm young. Plus, I don't really have anyone in mind right now. Well, well, well. If it isn't my good friend... Wait, 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 wait. I promise I'm not here to start trouble. I'm here to help you. Please just come with us. Oh my god, you look incredible. You have to come down and show Marcus. Ready? Go! Come on! Holy shit, you look amazing. You look like a completely new person. Do you feel any different? Yeah, I feel totally different. Good. Any guy would be lucky to have you now. Well, I can't thank Ange enough. This was such a nice favor. Your efforts are admirable. Could I be falling in love with Marcus? I did hear once that the best love blooms from a good friendship. I knew this was too good to be true. I have no clue how they did my hair and makeup. Shit, I'm late for work. Oh, great, now I'm ugly again. Hello? Ange, I have something to tell you. I know our goal was to help Lisa find love, but I think I've realized something else. I like you. I like more than friends. All that work and no one's even noticed? Why would I even bother or listen to them? Ugh, this work is so tiring. I should take a break. Lisa, is that you? Um, yeah? You look, um, you look... 
You, you look amazing. Really? Well, you sure do look, um, d different and uh, beautiful. Yeah. Someone, a man, actually noticed me. Maybe things will turn around. Little did Lisa, or might I say severe haircut lady know, being happy isn't all about what you look like. Beauty really is only skin deep, but personality comes from within. Sometimes you just need to let the personality show. And as for Ange and Marcus, through helping Lisa find love, they realized that they in fact loved each other. Ange was right, some of the best relationships do indeed come from 